Hi, I'm Michael and in the following I'll present Giraffe, representing scenes as compositional generative neural feature fields. Generative models are great. In the typical setup, at test time we can sample a latent code Z from our prior distribution PZ, pass this to our trained generator and then we get out a new output X in some domain X. Let's assume that our domain are images of cars. Then we will train our generator model on thousands of images of cars. If we now go back to our setup and sample a new latent code from our prior distribution, we get out a new image of a car. We can repeat this process and get millions of images of new cars. However, how do we need to change the model such that we have full control over the generated scene? For example, what do we need to do to move the car to the right or to the top? The question of how to gain full controllability over the image synthesis process remains unclear. The key idea of this work is to incorporate a compositional 3D scene representation into the generator model. While training from raw image collections, this will allow us to have full control over individual objects in the scene when generating new images. For example, we can move individual objects around, we can rotate them, or we can change their appearance. To better understand how we achieve this controllable image synthesis, Let's have a look at the forward pass of our model. Instead of sampling one single code for the entire scene, we start off by sampling individual shape and appearance codes for each object in the scene and for the background. These will give us individual feature fields which all live in a canonical space. A feature field is a function which predicts a density value and a feature vector for a given 3D location and a viewing direction. Note that here we show RGB instead of features for clarity. Next, for each feature field we sample a pose from a predefined distribution. We can then apply the resulting transformation to each feature field to obtain post feature fields, which all live in the same scene space. We then combine all individual feature fields using the composition operator to obtain one single scene representation. In order to render the scene, we first need to sample the camera pose from a predefined distribution. We then perform volume rendering for the sampled camera and obtain a feature image. This low resolution feature image is then passed to a 2D neural renderer which upsamples the image and outputs the final RGB rendering. Crucial for achieving controllable image synthesis is that while doing training we randomly sample the object as well as the camera poses, at test time we have explicit control over them. And of course the same applies to the individual shape and appearance codes. Let's now have a look at some results. First, we compare against a 2D based CAN. Here, we translate the left object in the scene. For the 2D based GAN, we can see that factors of variation are entangled and translating one object also affects the other object. In contrast, our method better disentangles the factors of variation. We achieve this by incorporating a compositional 3D scene representation directly into the generator model. This further allows us to perform more complex operations like circular translations or changing only the background or adding more objects at test time. Note that during training our model has only seen images of two object scenes. Let's have a look at more results for controllable scene generation on real world data. Here we show results for rotating the object. Similarly, we can also translate the object horizontally. And here we show results for changing the depth of the object. 
We now keep the object poses as well as the background fixed and only change the shape of the object. Here we do the same for the object's appearance. And finally we show some examples where we keep the object fixed but change the background. Let's have a look how well our model can generate out of distribution samples. For example, we can increase the horizontal translation range over what the model has seen during training. Here we show the same for the depth translation. Although we trained our model only on images containing a single car, at test time we can add more cars to the scene. For more results, the code and more information, make sure to check out bit.ly slash giraffe minus project. Thanks.